Hey everyone, this is Dan with Wise Money Tools. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss a video. We've got some good stuff coming up. Well, last week we talked to an 18-year-old girl who was talking about buying a car, and it was about a $5,000 car, and we were talking about the opportunity cost and what that would be like if she were to save that $5,000. By the time she got to age 65, that $5,000 would be about $1.2 See, that's the power of time and compounding. Now the reality is she likely needs a car. She probably won't be able to work or make any money without having some sort of transportation. So the car is kind of like an investment in her future as well. But is there a way that she could do both? In other words, have the car and save as well. Now I know we hear a lot about debt and car payments and how evil they are, and I get it. It's mostly because not very many people buy cars within their means, and they certainly aren't saving as much as they should either. So let's see if we can have an alternative for this young girl. Let's take two scenarios. What if she put $1,000 down on the car and then financed $4,000 for the next four years? If she were able to get a, let's say a 5% loan, her payments would be $92 a month. However, the $4,000 that she saves today at age 65, if it compounded at that same 12% that we were talking about, and if I use monthly compounding, that's just over a million dollars. Now the alternative you might say is, well, what if she paid cash and then she saved the $92 a month until she saved $5,000 and then let that grow and compound, how much would that be worth? Well, she would need to save that $92 for 50 months to get to $5,000. Then we'll let that $5,000 grow and compound till age 65. That means she's gonna have 514 months <laughs> until she's age 65. Well, at 12%, that's gonna be worth $832,000. Pretty good, but by paying cash, and by the way, not paying interest to the bank, then saving that $92 a month for 50 months, she would have saved that $5,000 and then let it grow. But at the end of the day, she actually lost in opportunity cost $170,000. So the question is, is it worth paying the bank even 6% interest on $4,000 for 48 months, which is a total, by the way, of $416 paid to the bank over four years in interest. But would you trade paying the bank $416 today to have $170,000 in future value? You see, the, the radio guys and these debt freaks are so worried about what you pay the banks um, and what the banks are making versus what you could be making. Now again, I understand a lot of people are upside down, over their head, way too much debt, buying stuff that they shouldn't be buying and not even being able to save a penny. That's not good and I get that. But if you can make a spread between what you pay the banks versus what you can make, then you're gonna get ahead. We call that leverage. Don't step over dollars to pick up dimes. Now, we wanna point out this as well. Have these conversations with your kids. Let them see the impact of spending money and how the benefit of time and compounding is actually in their favor. None of us can ever get back time, so we gotta take advantage of every single day. And by the way, this car example is something that we all likely face at some point, right? I don't care if you're 18, 28, or 68, you have to understand the impact of spending and how to combat that through compounding and growth. Paying cash for a depreciating asset like cars may be costing you millions of dollars in the end. I think there'd be so many multimillionaires out there if they were taught these principles early, like in high school. Kids need to learn this, and the sooner they learn it, the better. It's not that hard. You just need to have some knowledge on how to do it. So. If you or your kids <laughs> want to see how to get double digit returns on your money, keep your money safe and guaranteed, also keep it liquid and accessible, get a very attractive income stream during your retirement years, and then eventually leave a legacy for your family and do it all tax free, 
then you really need to schedule a strategy session below. Just click on the link, pick a time, and we'll have a little conversation. We're also happy to share with you additional information on how to leverage life and how to build your wealth without risk, again, on the link below. It's not something that your traditional financial advisor is ever gonna be able to show you either. Well, if you have any questions, send them to dan at wisemoneytools.com. We'll answer them just as quick as we can. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Never miss a video. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below as well. Until next week, take care.